Hey guys, all right, so if you have not been around my channel for a very long time, I have spoken of this on multiple occasions, and now it is looking like it's actually happening. Um, I was hoping that, you know, something would come of, they would make some type of peace with the situation in South America. Unfortunately, it's got, it's actually just gotten worse and worse. And right now there are about 40, over 40 ships off the coast of Caracas, north of Venezuela. I'm going to show you all this, but I want to just start here where um, if for people that have not seen my older videos. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we're going to war with Venezuela. Um, the AP put out that Trump repeatedly suggested invading Venezuela, stunning top aides because it is stunning because Maduro is not a dictator. They just won't play play ball with, you know, all of the elitist. And so, you know, America is used as the world's war, uh, military. And so they'll just make us do it and go tear down another country like we've done with so many others. This is just crazy. So, uh, it, okay, it's so a I'm gonna link that video in here and I'm going to show you the other ones that I have oh that's not right talked about right here the gas prices because this is we're going to overthrow happen. you possibly try to kill you president yeah and nobody took our side nobody's on um, our side right now we've got it's going to be no Venezuela I'll link all of these in the video um it's going to be essentially us and Colombia against Russia, China, Venezuela, Brazil's about to have their election. They're going to be on their side. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Rather than just saying, get over the sanctions, because they're gonna try to sell this to the population, because this is completely censored. They're going to try to say this is humanitarian aid. It's not humanitarian, it's economic bullshit that's all it is um and honestly even in military I, I, i'd rather even not even talk about that if you don't remember this occurring it's going to occur uh, um probably somebody, putting us into world war three would have been somebody um, yesterday in America, tried to assassinate president maduro do y'all remember President this one? Maduro's life was um, there was drones out to try to take out four. Look at her face. This is so crazy. This guy, like, is that is this how we we do things now? Well, I guess we've always really done it like this. Let me but, go back. But right now we have nobody with on our back. It's us in cocaine Colombia. And Israel, that's what we've this got. This guy looks. Uh, dang it! I can't so we send drones out there to try to kill a leader of a country. Now watch. And then, and then we expect nothing to happen. Well, things are happening. Um, I have some other ones. Let me see. Okay, anyway, I'll, I will link those, but I'm going to show you the ships going on, what's going on right now. I mean, it's changing by the minute, by the hour, how many ships are out there. It's absolutely insane. Right here, Marine Tracker. The Marine Traffic Map. You can see any of them, any ships out in... Oh gosh dang, I hate when it restarts. And then you're gonna see different colors, okay? But you can take all those colors off and you'll you'll see just the gray ones. 
right over here. Gosh dang. I had it all set up. I don't know what happened. Maybe, maybe I have it. Well, let me show you this while I have this up. So this is a Strava heat map. I don't, I cannot even believe they still allow the military to wear Fitbits. It just, it boggles my mind that they allow this still after knowing that we can track anybody with Fitbits. And as most of us know, you know, the military, they work out, a lot of them have Fitbits. And so whenever you go over here, right above Venezuela, you're going to see tons of heat signatures. Let's see. On these small islands of nothingness, nothing, there's nothing really there. Look at this. Look at all these tracks. Unless these people are swimming, a whole bunch of people swimming, it's not. They're on ships. This is military. And you see how that's really dark right there? The darker it is, that means there's more of them. And look, I'm gonna go more into depth on this tomorrow. I just didn't wanna leave y'all hanging. But um, the, the football game ran late and everything. And then look right here. This is an airport strip. And you see this zigzag pattern? That definitely looks like they are training right there. I mean, this is just, and you you can see all the purple lines, and you can go to this. This is Strava heat map. This is not good, guys. Um, let me see. Let me go back to the marine tracker because I want to show y'all how many ships are out here. Why is this not? Might have to turn it real quick. Shoot. How did this happen? I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had it all set up. Maybe not. But the um, governor of Puerto Rico is saying that we can use her island and there's so much going on. That's why I, I want to do it more in depth. And see, look, this is who's who we're going to be backed with. Colombia. Wow. Wow. That, I mean, Wow. And this would be who is with Venezuela. That's a China ship right there, the Ark. I mean, this is just absolutely mind-boggling. I think I know how to do this. Go to site. Sorry. Oh, I'm still sideways, huh? Sorry, y'all. Okay, so all of these ships right here, all the gray ones, those are unmarked, meaning they're military and they have uh, transponders on them. So what you do to... Um, you can take away which vessels. What? I think it's up here. Oh, right here. So I want to take away the cargo vessels. Okay. Bulk carrier. I'm going to turn off all of these. Because you want to just have the one... What is going on? I mean, I had all of this. 
all done earlier. Holy freaking crap. I know most of, most of my subs are very patient, and then I have the other ones that are just absolutely rude. So, honestly, I don't know why I'm worried about them. Passenger vessels, let's turn that off. The high-speed crafts, let's turn those off. Tugs. Fishing, obviously we don't want those on. So at least I'm, I'm showing you how you can use it also. And then, so unspecified ships. Those are the ones that we want. The green ones are still on. Let's turn those suckers off. Okay. There we go. So, look at this. All of these ships, I counted 48 this is insane. Look at all these ships. Absolutely insane. Close this gosh darn thing. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Wow, y'all. That is crazy. And then we have more over here. Look. So it's like we have them from the north and the east over here. This is... And, you know, if you haven't been following this, definitely um, look at my last, my other videos that I've done about this. A few other people have been following, have been doing a lot more detailed information. Like, Florida My Key does tons of information, and he actually breaks it down into... Um, like the psyop of how they're selling this to America and everything, but um, y'all, this is. I guess all we can do is just pray at this moment. This is a bunch, a bunch of ships, y'all. And what is it over? I call it, it's over God. G, capital G, capital O, capital D. Meaning gold, oil, and diamonds. That's all these people care about. There's no humanitarian aid going on over here. And I want you to think about it like this. When the mainstream media does try to sell it to you like this. And show these Venezuelan people with signs saying, Help us! We need help! I want you to think about those people here that we know that are paid by George Soros and Media Matters and the Open Society Foundation they have those same things down there and they pay those people to be like oh come help us we need humanitarian aid I'm not saying their economy is not bad but their economy down there is really bad because of what our sanctions have done to them um there's a lot to the story, um, you know, a lot of it has to do with oil, um, but there's a media blackout on all of this. You actually have to go to, like, Venezuela, uh, Colombia reports, Venezuela analysis, Indefenso, these type of websites, and even Indefen Indefenso is not normally you can translate it into English right now there's some block on it you can't even translate it into English because they don't want us to have I guess they don't want us to have it the information which you know they they blocked President Maduro's social media or something 
I know this was just a, a mess of a video. I wanted to do it earlier, but like I said, you know, y'all, I have a life. But I, I really wanted to get this information out. Um, there's a, a Telesur. You can get a lot of information there. You're not going to see anything on the mainstream media on ours, except for some bullshit. That's all you're going to see. Oh, this is what I want you to look at. Right now, Maduro has 68% support. 68% support. How many presidents here have you heard of 68% support? Y'all, I want y'all to think about what they show in the mainstream media the left versus right situation and how they're always showing the left and how everybody hates Trump, everybody this, Trump, and then how they show, you know, how they do the left versus right thing here. They do the same thing there to us so we can think, oh, it's just humanitarian aid, we're going to go and help them. Well, let me ask you, Operation Iraqi Freedom, how did that go? What about Libya? What about all of these other countries that we have just ravaged for oil, for Israel? Because that's what we do. Whatever the Rothschilds want, that's another thing. The Rothschilds called for an attack on... Go ahead and go into Venezuela. I have that somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. God, I have so much stuff open here, y'all. But, um, I'll put the links below and the videos that I've done so you can go over it. But, this stuff is, I mean, they're right there. They're, they're just waiting. They're setting up for 100% fact. That's what they're doing. Um, but y'all have a great night. I'm sorry it was so late. I'm sorry it was so messed up but I just wanted to make sure I got something out to y'all um, y'all have a good night and say a prayer and we need to unite and, and actually see what's going on here we're being duped we're being lied to this Kavanaugh circus is distracting everybody from what's really going on uh, people not looking deeper into things is just is part of the reason also we know mainstream media lies to us so so why do we even look at them what why there's other sources go directly to Twitter just type in Venezuela and then make a decision of your own yeah a lot of its propaganda but you can tell once you go through it for so often you know you can tell like what are bots and and this and that but um, I'm gonna leave it there like share subscribe and I will be back tomorrow to put this all together for you guys. Okay? Good night.